Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about the four last things, death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Last time, we discussed what happens to the virtues in the afterlife, and this time, what about heaven specifically? What happens to the virtues there? This is one of those areas in which heaven takes more effort to explain than hell, since it's more difficult to explain what it means for a virtue to be perfected than it is to explain how it could be gone. Fortunately, we've discussed the virtues in brief before, so we can make do with a quick review of what they mean. First is prudence, taking the most appropriate and wise action given the circumstances. Since wisdom and good judgment are good things, they will be perfectly present in heaven, so the saints will have the virtue of prudence. Second, justice, keeping the commandments of God. The saints in heaven have been made perfect and elevated to a perfect state of being. It's not possible for them to sin against God, nor is it possible for sins against God to take place when one is fully perfected and in heaven. After all, sin is an imperfection, right? Third, Temperance, structuring your food, drink, and pleasures so that at any point, if you were called to give them up for the sake of someone else, you could. Because temperance doesn't necessarily involve losing anything, it's not necessary to experience loss in order to have the virtue of temperance. Therefore, the saints in heaven, who can no longer lose good things, can still have the virtue of temperance perfectly. Fourth, fortitude, courage used to insist on doing the right thing. In heaven, the saints all insist on doing the right thing, but it's not necessary for them to be afraid in order to demonstrate that courage, so again, the saints can have this virtue without being imperfect. The three remaining virtues are faith, hope, and charity. With each one, there seems to be an obstacle to the virtue existing in heaven. Charity first. This is a virtue of self-sacrificing for the sake of others. At first, I had trouble imagining how this could exist in a realm where no actual loss of anything is possible. But then it occurred to me that there's more than one kind of sacrifice. Sacrifice can also mean paying attention to someone else, even when you don't share their interests, or something else like this. Focusing on the happiness of others instead of your own. In that regard, it's quite possible for souls in heaven to exercise charity, even though they don't really lose anything by doing so. Finally, faith and hope. These two have a similar problem. Can faith exist in heaven if the thing that you have faith in is right in front of your eyes? Can hope exist in heaven if you already have everything that it's possible to hope for? St. Thomas Aquinas, considered by many, myself included, to be the greatest theologian in the history of the Catholic Church, thought that the answer to both of these questions was no, that faith and hope would be replaced by the presence of God, the beatific vision. However, I still have a bit of a problem with that, because that would either imply that not all good things are present in heaven, or else that faith and hope aren't good things. It seems obvious to me that they are. I think the best way to solve this problem of faith and hope is to suggest that what we call faith and hope are actually unfulfilled aspects of the beatific vision, the experience of being in the presence of God and that therefore, far from replacing faith and hope, the beatific vision would actually fulfill those virtues, making them what they were originally intended to be. Also, in the case of faith, I don't think witnessing something makes faith less likely. For example, I can have faith that video games exist because I've seen video games. I don't need to lose faith in that because of what I've seen. In fact, my faith in that is stronger due to having seen them. So, at least in the case of faith, I don't see this as a problem. Next time, what will happen to the fruits of the Spirit in heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.